you can buy uh, in Europe at least uh, in the Netherlands very cheap uh, time clocks. They can switch something on or off during say a quarter of an hour or an hour or 10 hours or 11 hours or any way and here I have such a cheap time clock made by IKEA uh, it got defective after say approximately two years that's uh, that's bad in my opinion but anyway I'm an uh, say radio amateur so I could use the components inside and I found for instance when you say uh, take it apart there are some good quality copper contacts here and here there is say a good quality switch though I am not sure if this switch is really good it has a say VDE marking for the Netherlands that means um, that it has to have certain properties but on the other hand say it's made in uh, a kind of unknown way and perhaps not by say a good manufacturer but anyway the most important thing that I wanted to tell is this this beautiful motor that is inside this clock there's a gear here nylon gears they are really really beautiful and here is the coil that drives that AC motor it drives it in the Netherlands uh, of course on 230 volts at 50 Hertz but I'm more or less sure that IKEA that's a big brand also say makes these clocks for um, 110 volt at, at say 60 Hertz not sure about it but anyway seems say uh, more or less logical and here is the schematic so uh, not much more to tell and I will say stick in now the 230 volts and let's see what happens to this in my opinion beautiful clock you can hear it and you can see it turn and there's a bunch of gears and that means that say the final gear here moves in a very very uh, tiny way I did not test it, uh, perhaps it moves, uh, I have to test it, it moves for instance uh, uh, during 10 minutes one complete reversion or perhaps during uh, 30 minutes, I don't know that exactly, I have to test it but anyway it's a, in my opinion at least, a very useful motor unit for all kinds of say uh, electric and electronic experiments that was all thanks